When you have defined and run your system in the Proform System Builder, the results are displayed in the Results tab. And in this video, I explain how to interpret the System Results columns in the Proform Professional software. In most technical fields, professional statisticians are troubled by lack of data. However, this is not a problem for horse racing, as there is plenty of information for every race at any given day at every race course going back for years. The problem, though, lies not in the lack of information, but in deciding which information is relevant and how to use it. Since a single factor is not sufficient enough to predict the outcome of a race to make profit, we must find a way to combine relevant factors. Of course, extremely important factors should be given more weight than those that are merely significant. This is why a knowledge of statistics can be very useful to punters. With the amount of data available today and growing by the minute, we can use stats techniques to make sense of the data. We can also get machines to do the heavy lifting for us, and then using, for example, the visualization techniques used in the Proform Race Guides, we can identify important facts that would be difficult for us humans to interpret. Finally, instead of gut feel or intuition, we can use empirical evidence to arrive at a decision, but also use this time and time again to further our decision-making process in what may seem a very complex problem to solve, i.e. finding the winner of the horse race. When numerical information about horses is presented to punters, typically they are shown using percentages. The graphic on the left is taken from a well-known racing publication. When their numbers are examined in detail, it's clear that the quoted statistic does not stand up to scrutiny and also suffer from a number of obvious flaws detailed on the bullet points. What's needed is a method of measurement that addresses these flaws. So not only can we place faith in the numbers when betting, but also a method that's easily understood by non-statisticians. Let me outline one statistical measure called impact values that is more preferable than percentages in the next slide. Impact values were first introduced in 1974 by an American called Fred Davis, but were applied to horse racing by William Curian in the book listed on the slide. An impact value is an index and is calculated using this formula. From the result of the calculation, a value of 1 would indicate horses with a particular characteristic, with no fewer or no more than those without that characteristic. A value below 1 is indicative of underperformance, and a value greater than 1 suggests a performance above expectation. Let's see how impact values are used in the Proform System Builder. With the System Builder open, the information on the screen is ordered by the horse's age. And for the moment, how we arrive at the system is not important for the purposes of this example. Impact values are displayed in the results line here and are calculated for you automatically. So in the output from our example system, three year olds have an impact value of 1.14, which is 0.14 above 1, i.e. 14% better than normal. If you look at the strike rates in our example system, the percentages for horses aged between 4 and 7 are very close. However, note the impact values for this group is below 1, indicated underperformance under the system conditions. Notice also how the impact values gradually decline with age. This fact may be significant and one that the betting public will be unaware of, which is an edge that you can exploit and highlights how by using impact values, we can base our decisions on a solid foundation of statistics as part of our selection process.